Owen Luke from Owen Says Go. Welcome to Durban. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 of my favorite things to do in the city. It's a big place so the best place to get started is down here on the beachfront promenade and the best way to explore it is on a bicycle. There's a good place to rent bikes right here at the skate park. Can I get a bike for an hour please? All right so it's 50 rand an hour to rent a bicycle and let's head down towards the harbour on the new portion of the promenade. What better way to explore the beachfront than on a bicycle? This is awesome. This is the new Point Beach section of the promenade that was uh, recently opened adding an extra kilometer to the length of the promenade. It's a beautiful stretch taking you past Moyo Pier and down to the harbour where you can watch the ships as they come and go. Let's ride! There's some dolphins right here up in here. Oh wow! Yeah, Boma and Jan. Uh, how much are these shirts? 100. Just grab myself one of these traditional shirts. Because when in Durban, the sun's out, guns out. Okay. I'm really excited about our next stop because it's one of my all time favorite things to do in Durban. We're at Fun World and we're going to go for a ride on the cable car. Cable car is an awesome way to see the beachfront and it's only 20 bucks for a ride. Let's go. Can I get a cableway ticket please? Thank you. Okay, I've got a ticket for the cableway. It's 40 Rand now, not 20 Rand as I said. Classic piece of Durban history. Can I jump on? And I'm on. Oh yeah. I love the cable car because it gives you such a great view over the city. For only 40 bucks, you get to see all this. Thank you! Uh, that was great! Now that I've worked up an appetite uh, with the cycling, I'm going to head to my favorite beachfront bunny bar to grab something to eat. The bunny is Durban's famous uh, curry in a hollowed out bread loaf. If you watch my videos you'll see there's a lot of different places you can get them, different options. Get a quarter beans. I'll sit outside. Yeah. Thank you. I've gone for the quarter beans bunny. I actually haven't done a video on my diners yet but looking at this bad boy I'm thinking I'm gonna have to come back and do a proper one. You can see some chili in there, some curry leaf. You got a nice sambles there on the side go in for the first taste. Mm. Oh yeah, that is good. Perfectly fresh bread, hot, fragrant curry, uh, a good level of spice. Got some, uh, some nice chilies there. I can taste some good coriander in here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Next on my list of top things to do in Durban, you gotta check out Moses Mabida Stadium. And when you're here, you have to do the big jump. Climb all the way to the top of the arch, right up there, and jump off for a hell of a ride. Check it out. First thing we've got to do, kit up. What's your safety record, Ayan? Anyone die yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Practice jump. In three, two, one, good skip. How many steps did you say? 352. <laughs> That's a lot of stairs. Yeah. 
Oh boy, that's high. So you're gonna stand on the edge, you're gonna come yeah. down, then you jump. Eh? Nice. Three, yeah. two, one, go! Yeah. Ah! That's a freaking long way down. That was good. I went to his car. <laughs> Top 10 things to do in Durban. And check out those views. Did you hear the screaming? Yeah, Tom, yeah, yeah. That would be. <laughs> like you're a Tesla. Thanks, man. Enjoy Cheers. Thanks. Once you're finished at the stadium, you can take a short drive up to Florida Road, which day or night is one of my favorite places to visit in Durban. There's tons to see and do here. Lots of restaurants, lots of bars. Whether you're looking for a beer, a bunny chow or a coffee, Florida Road is the place to be. It's got a really buzzy atmosphere. Uh, I think right now I'm gonna pull into Florida Fields, which has got a bunch of different places where you can eat. And I'm gonna grab a coffee at the bar now done a bunch of curry videos from Florida Road, so be sure to check those out. Two and a half men, Istanbul, uh, roti and chai, Florida Road in Durban, one of my top 10 things to do here. Check it out. When you get tired out by all the excitement, then it's time to come and visit the Durban Botanical Gardens. One of my top 10 things to do here in Durban, they're the oldest surviving botanical gardens in Africa. The gardens are a beautiful expanse of green lawns, uh, interesting exotic trees, lovely places to sit and relax, to have a picnic, and best of all, it's free of charge. The Bot Gardens, one of my top 10 things to do here in Durban. You'll also see a ton of birds here, like these Egyptian geese. I spot a stork there. There are some pelicans that live in the park, and plenty of monkeys most days. One of the top 10 things to do in Durban has to be jumping into the sea for a cool down. Uh, just been for a lovely run on the Amschlange promenade. And I'm jumping in now for a quick swim. Swimming in the sea, top 10 thing to do in Durban. One of Durban's most popular attractions is the Shark and Marine World, which is where I am now. Definitely one of my top 10 things to do. Get yourself one of the combo tickets and you'll get access to the aquarium, which is where I am now. Tons of sharks, rays and all kinds of fish to see. And then afterwards you can head out into the sun and go check out Wet and Wild, which is the water park. That's where I'm going to head next. Let's go. Okay. Getting ready to hit the first slide. Uh, park is just open, so there's no queues. This is going to be awesome. Might as well start with the biggest one. Get it over and done with. Something about a water park that makes you feel like a kid again and you can't help but run to get back on this slide. Let's go! Once you've gone on all the rides, there's no better way to relax than by taking a lazy tube ride down the river. It goes all the way around the park and you can just sit back, relax and enjoy the sun. Bushaka Marine World, 
Owen says go. When you're in Durban, you've got to head north to Mshlanga and visit the Oyster Box Hotel and come up to the Lighthouse Bar for their famous cocktails. It's my favorite place to sit and enjoy a drink. You've got a beautiful view of the ocean. The service is impeccable and the cocktails are fantastic. One of my top 10 things to do in Durban. One Don's number one. Yes. And one South of France. No problem. And some cocktail snacks. No problem. Thank you. I'm drinking the Don number one. Uh, tequila, ginger beer, and yeah. grapefruit. Oh, that's really good. Strong nice. tequila. We've got the south of France. It's got um, sparkling wine and very syrup. It matches the furniture so beautifully. It's like a grown up barberry. It's yummy. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. One of the coolest things to do in Durban is to head to the Kloof area and then come hiking in the Kranzkloof Nature Reserve. So you can see behind me there's beautiful waterfalls here, there's lovely trails where you can go walking, hiking, exploring and just generally having a good time. This is definitely one of my top 10 things to do while you're in Durban. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a subscribe and share it with your friends. Keep an eye out for what we're going to do next and take a look at some of the videos I've already produced about what to do in Durban and what to do out and about in the world. Owen says go!